stage three of the Grand Prix Cyclist de Saguenay, and it was a fantastic race. Criterium, though, only uh, about 70 kilometers, but it had a short, steep climb, so it made it very tough for the riders. For five-hour energy, it was a matter of just staying in the group, not expending too much energy, but they had to pay attention to a big split, and that's exactly what happened early on in the race. A group of about 20 separated themselves, gained about a minute lead. Luckily, we had Chad Byer in that group, but the group, you know, when it's that big, a lot of guys don't like to work together. Eventually, that got reeled back. Then we had a break of about three or four that went off the road a little bit later on. Optum defending the yellow jersey for Eric Young. Had to actually do more work today in the Criterium than they had to do in the previous two days of the road races, which are over 100 miles. A tough job that they had to ride on the front. They brought back the group, and at the end, with about five laps to go, we had a couple of guys attack. The first was Chad Beyer with the Jelly Belly rider. They managed to get about a 10-second lead, about for a lap and a half, but then Jameis was on the front trying to bring it back. But right after Chad came across the finish line, all of a sudden, I was like, how the heck is Chad Beyer holding a 10-second lead for two laps? I realized it was Jim Stemper, and they had swapped positions, and Jim was going up the road. But in the end, it did become a field sprint, uh, a fantastic race, beautiful downtown area, even with the zombie guy walking really slow across the road that the whole field almost hit. And then, of course, there was a, a rider that ended up hitting a parked car that was there for many of the laps, but on the one lap, he got pushed into the parked car and ended up crashing. So a few incidents, but overall, a fantastic race. Now, tomorrow, tough, tough circuit. Uh, hard, uh, long uphill, about three or four kilometers, very fast descent. The GC is definitely going to be shaken up, I think. It's going to be a, a fantastic race, but so far, the Tour de Saguenay has been going great.